Hey guys, Stunt Double here. Here is a look at the latest camera setup I've got on my Mini Talon. At the moment, I'm using a Storm 32 Roll Axis gimbal for a GoPro session. So this is the setup I've been using for the past few months. It's just a simple 3D printed roll axis gimbal and it attaches directly to the Mark Q canopy. The GoPro sits on an L-shaped bracket and it's held in place using a single zip tie. This piece here is designed specifically for the GoPro session. There's a little raised lip at the front here, which helps to lock the GoPro in place. It attaches to the motor using two screws. Underneath, there's the Storm 32 IMU board. That's got four wires that exit from it. They travel up here and through the motor, which has got a hollow shaft and they attach to a slip ring. The slip ring gives it full rotation, unlimited movements, so there's no wires to get tangled up. The motor and the slip ring attach to this 3D printed upright piece and that attaches to a mounting plate and the mounting plate attaches to the canopy. It's all held in place with a few screws. The wires from the slip ring go down here, there's a zip tie to hold them, and they go through a hole and into the fuselage. The gimbal can face forwards or backwards. When I've got it in the forwards config like this, I get nice clean footage and there's no parts of the frame in shot. To swap it around, there are two mounting screws here. You take them out, twist the gimbal, and then put the screws back in place. This is the setup I like the best with the GoPro looking backwards. I usually fly with a GoPro wide angle and you get a great shot of the plane in action. And this is where the slip ring really comes in handy. You can do unlimited rolls with the mini talon and get a different perspective. I used to have a gimbal like this mounted directly onto a 360 servo but I found it was a little bit too much for the servo horn and I managed to break one off. So now I just stick with this fixed version. The Storm 32 board is mounted underneath this top part of the fuselage. It's just held in place with a bit of velcro. This green board here is a regulator to power the Storm 32 board. That's hooked up directly to the flight battery and it's set for 12 volts. This setup is a nice lightweight alternative to a bulky 2 or 3 axis gimbal. The roll axis stabilisation helps soften a few of the bumps that you normally see with fixed wing flights. If you have any questions about the gimbal, please drop them in the comments below. Cheers.